Hey guys, it's Earl and Brian here. Today we're going to take a look at our VQ35DE harness. We've been working on it for a little over a year now and it is in full production so it is available for purchase. Now this is going to work just like our other harnesses with our standard interface. So it has a modular design much like all of our other products so that means any chassis that we currently support you can get a plug and play harness for VQ into it. So this being an OBD2 car, we added an OBD2 scan port. We also added can high and low communication wires. And since it was an OBD2 car, a lot of the functions were based off can. So we did add a provision so you can run an SGI signal converter box to produce a tack signal on this harness. So that's going to help you put it into older chassis like S13s, Z32s, whatever the case may be. We've got this harness attached to an uprev engine, which is a dual VTC engine. So we only have our intake variable cam solenoids connected, which won't affect the operation of the motor. It still works fine. So if you look on the back, we also only have our intake cam position sensors terminated. So you can see they're different from bank to bank. Now you can use this on an uprev engine and it will run fine, but it is designed to work with a DE, so it will not support the exhaust cam function. If you look back here, the oxygen sensors are also different from bank to bank. This harness in particular is set up to be an early style harness, so oxygen sensors are very important when selecting your harness from us because the later models came with a six wire sensor from the factory. So we need to know which style computer you're running that way we can base the harness off that because the four wire is not going to work properly with a six wire computer. So what I'll do ahead do is go ahead and remove the intake plenum, which I already have unbolted. We'll give you a look at the injector harness, which I previously installed underneath here. So we made this harness modular just like the factory one is. So basically what you can do is install your injector harness. And then after you have the engine in the car, you can go ahead and clip it to this connector here. Now, other items that we've added on this harness are provision for a single wire coolant temperature sensor to make gauges in the older style cars work. And, you know, if you want to use it for a custom application, you could do that as well. But that pretty much about sums it up. And if you guys have any questions, you can call in and we'll be happy to help you out.